Hello folks and welcome back to Newman's Land. Here we are with some goodies. 22,000 of sugar, some mushrooms, flowers, a little bit of planks, butter, no sorry, cheese, and some oils. Because we are in Bivany's awesome cash desperately. Also, off camera, in between episodes, what I've gone and done is pretty much mowed all of our new plots of land that we recently acquired, so a ton of potential signage here. 36, 37. Whether or not this would be like one big old grass field or not, not too sure. Because we don't really need to pave in or anything to track. I'm sure at some point we'll need to put a track in to get to the north half of the map. So I do want to try to expand at some point and have like Everything, like literally everything that we can have, but for now, let's just focus on what we're doing. So, we got sorghum to harvest today, we've got straw to pick up as well. We've got quite a few bits to do here. There we go. And sugar is at its peak price today, that's why we're selling a lot of it. And look at that, 101 grand. That's enough to fund a few things that I want to get, including a brand new stone picker and out. But let's first of all go and grab the combine. Okay, that's topped up with fuel. Because, yeah, we've got the sorghum field to harvest. I ain't gonna take too long. And then we really need to think about getting these grass picked up. Also, the straw needs picking up. We've got a lot of work to do here. But, yeah, the straw, that's gonna be a bit of a task. But, definitely enough straw to live beyond our means. A straw swath is enabled, that is good. Don't know if we get sorghum straw, but we'll find out. I don't think so. No, we do not. That is fine by me, because, yeah, it's gonna be quick work. And this will be used to make sorghum flour. And with our brand new combine and that. This is going to make a very light work this, so let's go and get this done, and then we'll focus on picking up the shrew. And there we go, that is 44,000 litres of cell sorghum. And that's going to be converted into some delicious flour. 
So we get about 50 or so, f actually not 50, about 48,000 years of sorghum flour, so that's nice, so that's distributing, that's distributing, storing, which one thing I want to set back to is this one over here, sugar, distribute. But yeah, we've got a full load of hay because our animals also need a urgent feed of food. Well, that times up two times three for now. Obviously, I have a set time scale now. It's just progressing the day in that. Do have some milk. Tempted to sell that. Ooh, do you have some wool now? I could be doing moving over at some point. Make sure our cows get all the feed. That's the sheep done, and now let's go and sort out the cows. Obviously, this is out of TMR, but only that's some literally 24 hours, so. Last thing, just a load a day, that ain't an issue, that's actually quite a happy medium almost of just enough, but bear in mind some of these are calves, so once they're adults are grown up, it's going to be like one and a half to two loads a day, so do we have any TMR in here? Nope. Needs hay and straw. We'll get back on that at some point. At the moment, it's not a huge urgency. But we've still got, yeah, we've still got an, over a year supply of TMR. But if we can just do one big batch load, and then yeah, that may tie us over to the end of the series, or us think. It depends on if we expand, like if we want another 400 cows or if we go for a thousand cows. Having extra TMR in storage is never a bad thing. Yes, may not be the most profitable in that, but. Because, yeah, like TMR is on its own. You get much as well just sell the silage on its own, you get more money from that. How that works, I do not know, but. Are we getting manure? I do think we're getting manure. Oh well. But yeah, the 159 grand. That's going to help us with things like funding the corn header that we're going to need. So put that over here. Because, did I leave the windrower? Ooh. Missed a bit of prop there. Honestly, I'm not too worried about that. Ah, yeah, windrower's over there. Is that the biggest windrower we can get, or can we go even bigger? So, go to our own tools. Wind rowers, 60 meters. I'm sure, we can go up to like 20 meters, right? Where is it to? Ah, uh, but yeah, that requires 350 horsepower. Plus, how much is the forge wagon? That is 550. Ah, the fence would struggle with that though. Unless we perhaps look at that, making some of our losses and getting a bigger tractor perhaps. Let me have a think about this for a minute and then we'll come back because I want to work out what can we sell to get what we need. So alrighty then, we've got a few bits up here, we did take the wind row up here, we 
we've upgraded it. I've changed the color to a case red. That's because the new tractor we're going to get is going to be where it has a front of the tractor with a massive weight, and it's going to be a case one. Also, we're going to get the new stone picker trailer by Matt Trucker. Also, we've got our own Phoenix stone crusher thing here. We're going to sell that. And also, our sugar beet harvester. Let's go over here. So, this is going to be a lot to do. So, this is repair and pay everything. And we don't have enough money, so. Let's go and sell everything. So there we go. Back up to 864 grand. So now, let's get a new tractor. So this is going to be the Case 34400 Series Special Edition. We're going to go with no capacity. We'll go with a 400 power drive twin turbo. And for wheels, not gonna go with tracks, not narrows. We'll go with all twins. Do we want a front weight or do we want a rear weight? What can we have both? Well, there is some there. Actually, no, that's just a hub, so... You know what, I think we'll stick with the... Yeah, or something like that, so... EU warning. Go with Eddie's strobes, so what car do you want? Pink, no. Green and white. Now, I want either red, black, or yellow. Not blue. There we go. We'll go with all uh, the strobes, yellow and white. Bit of a little tint, sure, why not? We want a three point linkage. Yes, we want a front loader. And boy, look at that color palette. Oh, that's the seat. No, let's just go with a red seat. And I think go with a jet black interior. Oh, red, red wheels, sure. So that's going to be 400 grand. Also, go with this, so the front loader. And go with the massive 7.5 ton weight. So that's going to be our big boy tractor. Don't need front loader yet, but... If we need anything moved, heavy and that, or picked up. For example, when we tip over our John Deere self-propelled sprayer with the weight, I'm sure that can pick that up with no problems whatsoever. But next, we've got to go to Stone Pickers. And we'll go to the Stone Picker Trail by Matt Trucker. And even though I said we wouldn't go with Unreal Capacity, I think we will. Ooh, crawler tracks. Do you want a ball pin or a pin hitch? Well, we'll go with something if we need to change it. And all the same, same palette, so this is all by Matt Trucker, so. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you know what? A hundred grand for that. 
Where's that two? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we got the rock picker and that. This. Oh, I hear that turbo. Um, we'll leave this here for now because we don't need that quite yet. And good thing we got the rear weight on the wheels. Also, make a bit of extra money, sell a little bit of milk. Also, I wish I was on the PS5 version, but yeah, that is absolutely sick. Love the animations. And use at 40 miles an hour as well. So this is going to be our new fastest tractor. And so we have something proper here. Yeah, I think things like the straw and the, hat and the rock picking that we're going to be doing needs to go a bit off what is the norm, I think. But yeah, I think we'll forget the straw for now. What I want to focus on because we may plant grass and that in this field. Turn times down to times two because I want to do the grass in this field in the next episode but for now we need to focus on the silage and we're going to need to change the colour of this so just get it all matching up so bear with me a sec and there it goes, just quickly washing this down Did just quickly put down the jet washer here we're going to have a little jet washer at the shop so I think in future when we sell equipment we just take them up here and wash them. Even though we are playing with jet washers back at the farm now. And boy, this is a filthy boy. But yeah, for all this grass we're gonna be picking up, we're gonna get a ton of silage. And then when we plant, well we plow the field in and all that, so we're gonna have even more grass. So I think I'll do one massive grass field in that. Like our mega field, that's going to be grass for now, because what I want to do with that grass field is, yes, we can plant canola. Well, if we plant grass now in August, mow that in October, then we can put a wheat or a barley crop in. So I think that's what we'll do. And with the money we've got left over, I want to focus on basically part two of this industrial complex. But that's going to be more so focused on after we do the corn harvest and that. So I think I want to expand, put a BGA in. But we're still going to need something like half a million at least to get started off with. So that's going to be a bit of a ways away. So yeah, just to recap, so we've got grass here on 46, grass on 37, and a bit on 36, so this is all of this, right up to the edge, and uh, where you start usually on this map on New Farmer, but yeah, just get us all mowed up, that's going to be a lot of silage. So yeah, we're not picking up free swaths, but it gives that extra flexibility in that it does. Especially with some of my pay for some of my drive in and that. Or it's a bit off skewed in that. But yep, yeah, this is still doing this at eleven miles an hour. And we're getting all this picked up. Oh we just hit free swaths. Any bits we miss, we'll go over if it's significant enough. But 
But yeah, this is gonna be a humongous load of signage. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do is continue on this, get us all done, and then we start getting the plow out. with the wind blowing done so we've got quite a bit of silage on the way what 250,000 years of hay being made along with let me turn that off a sec well, where is it to where's the other one ah there so yeah we've got 800,000 years we're gonna have what 1.2 million years of silage I'm just saying, for that we'll need 600,000 years of straw, which we're definitely going to have, and hay, which we've got about three, 400,000 a year or so. All in all, that is actually quite a decent load. I'm trying to think, 2.4 million years of silage, or TMR. That's enough for about f almost five years, four and a half years. So if we get a little bit more hay in, so that's literally, I think, the cow secured. Unless we, unless we at some point, which we most likely will, upgrade cow pens. That's just doing a quick math in my head. That's just speaking. So 
Hopefully I'm right on that on some level. We do actually make some more TMR, but not too worried for now. We can have a massive TMR session over the winter. But now I need to find where I put that plow to. A few products over there. That's the cedar. Cedar. Where on earth did I put that plow to? It's a good massive plow, you can't miss it. Ah, did I leave it over there? On plot 44. But yeah, I think we'll get this up, convert it into a grass field, and then we'll get even more yieldage out of it, so. Let's use our dirt track here at least. Actually, the steer is actually quite responsive. Very nimble, very agile. Ah, yeah, there we go. There's the plow. And oh, look at that. We need to change the colour on this. To match our brand new case. And there we go, so... Can't get quite fit in there, so gotta just finagle it a little bit. It's just in the spawn point. Do a quick service repair. Customize. Oh, attachers. Didn't know we can have that as an option. But can I find something that's 26 meters wide? <laughs> Why should you possibly have planned her in that? That gives me an idea. Do we have anything enabled at the moment that can do 26 meters? No me, I very much doubt it. So, cedars. 50 meters planters. Only 18.2 meters. I'm sure there's something I could do 26 meters. My news. There we go. So, get on first up. I think, you know what? We painted everything else today. Let's go and give this a good treatment of. Because, yeah, just look at that, it's like, it's more dirt than red. <laughs> Perhaps it could do with repainting and that. But things like repainting is stupid. Like, the price is for repainting equipment, so... I'm not going to worry about that. All I'll focus on is just... Taking care of our equipment. Give them a good old wash. And even, heck it. Get some tea cut and that, get some polish, and be as good as new. Special edition 400T twin turbo. And just that, she is almost good as new. But yeah, I think now what I'll do is sort of plan on this new field. Or is it going to be our grass field? May use it for crops and that. But I think we've got enough arable fields for now. Also, as I said before, we expand this into the biogas plant area. I think if we put a field here, have a, like a divider. As much as I would like, you know, mess around with, you know. Loving everything, make it all nice and flat. Ooh, that was close. See, I'm thinking 46. Leave a gap here. Not so much a way to drive up, just a little divider. We don't have access to 35. So it's literally just up here. That could be one grass field here. Yeah, I could be one grass field. 
This could be two. I was thinking, do we want the paper and do we want the tracking? We'll keep a good aesthetic, but yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of it. So, literally, all this is going to be merging together. Once all of it, okay, we missed a strip there, but you know what? I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'll go around the sump grinder. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm still not too sure what to do up here. I'd like to keep the hill now, even perhaps even extend the hill a bit, raise this up a little bit. But we do need to get rid of these trees to be used as timber for sawmills. I'm thinking, yeah, have another nice little fort. Do we want the forest up here? Uh, I don't know. Actually, we've got a massive forest already, and we've not even touched that yet. So I'm thinking... But anyways, yeah. Oh no, too close. But yeah, just create a good old massive field. And this will do it quicker than the wind rowing, so it shouldn't take as long. But yeah, you know, something like that, just a little divider, a little separation. Okay, may have to do some terrain work over here, but... Especially with the ceiling, because I don't want an instant of where we miss... You know, that. That girt gaping example of our mess up. But yeah, I don't see that being an issue. And are we getting rocks? I really hope so. Yes we are, small rocks. But rocks nevertheless. And do our own fields need plowing? Have a little looky do. Nope. But what about the fertilizer estate? Oh, so the grass field needs fertilizing. That's understandable. And try to maintain that separation. But yes, you know what? I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this off camera, not on the time lapse or anything. Because you see me creating fields before, like with the mega fields. So yeah, I'll get this done. And I'll see you folks when we're done here. And there we go, we are done. I'm just going to unload this front loader, but first of all, the hydraulics on this is absolute a beast. I mean, just look at that. But yeah, anyway, so money's gone down quite a bit. That's because we did a bit of landscaping on what used to be the old forest. So, yeah, we'll go and have a look in a sec. Try to wait. Yeah, but yes, seven and a half tons. That's made a difference. So let's go and hook this up, the rock picker. So yeah, I'm going to give this a go now. Like, I may say before I was already said me giving up on the rock picking, but now I will get back to it. Actually, one thing I do want to check is our methane production. Okay, we've got 48,000 euros in storage. We do have potatoes and sugar beets, so we'll get those going. But yeah, we can sell the methane here. Currently, we don't have a liquid trader that can hold methane gas, but um, Ingen provides two. But also, A2 Studio has an option as well. So yeah, we may have a look at that when we want to sell some methane. But yeah, so we've gone and also lined all the fields and fertilise it. So you see, where was it? I think it was here, yeah. This used to be a forest area, of course you can tell the lumpies and bumpies. You can tell where we've done a bit of landscaping. 
it's not perfectly flat, sort of a bit of a rough guess line of like different peaks of the land and that, but overall, that's gonna make it better for our workers. That yes, there are still stumps and that, so I know that's gonna have an issue with our workers. But yeah, 16 meters working with. Ooh, look at that. Just picking up the rocks. Okay, it does that seven miles an hour. But can we actually? What's the linkage on that? That is just a pin hook and some cables. So, see so if yeah, we even have a look here. Yeah, cables goes into the tractor and that. But could potentially, I've got an idea. Bear me a sec. So here we go, we've got a weight. Just a 750 kilograms, so a tenth of what we got. But now. to know that and raise that. Ah, no. I thought we could do a bit of fast farming with this. Nope. Oh, that sucks. But I do wonder, is there a way to fast farm with this? I am sure there's a way to fast farm with this. Uh, do I have any mods enabled? I know me, I pretty much doubt it, but the lifter No. Ooh. I think would that work potentially? I doubt it, but actually, let me do some quick research a sec. So if we can fast forward with this, that would be a game changer. And now this is what we're looking for. The draw by by I think it's Anton or Atoll. But yeah, so shift from side to side. So I think this is what I've used before when it comes to... Oh, actually no, let's turn those eddies off. Quite bright. So in theory, this should help with the fast farming. So now let's go and give this a go. Why did I fold that up? There we go. Let's uh, unfold. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, perhaps it was just stopped in the loading phase when I left the game. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Fast farming rock picking. And so look at that, we are skating along. And we realise we're not picking up many stones from this, so. Okay, it's, it's going to miss bits, like. If it ain't perfectly flat, then some bits, but. Overall, it's picking up quite well, actually. <laughs> and the main reason we're doing this is for stone for the, you know, the gold production. 
Do we actually want to make goals legitimately this time? And we're not having much luck with stones, but... There is a way of getting around that if we want to. Just keep on ploughing the fields. We're going to plough, cultivate, and that. A little plough, rock pick, and then rock pick again. A little plough again. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Okay, good. It does touch the grass fields. That's the thing I was worried about. And already at 2% capacity. And we go into stones. See, we don't have much stones about. We've got some, but overall not a lot. So, but yeah, this is going to make quick work of this. Yeah, of course, where we're doing, like, where this field ain't perfect, it's all, you know, turns and that here and there. It's going to be a bit too get all the stones and that, but... I'm sure side from side to side ain't going to help with that. But yeah, you sort of see what I mean with the terrain where bits are uneven and that, where it's not perfectly flat. And doing that 14 miles an hour, it's not skipping too much. Even with... Yeah, so... So, see with a frequently hit area. That's flexing a little bit, but... I suppose from that... It's actually doing a good job of it. That will get much from this, but it makes us continue on this, see how we go, and then, yeah, we'll go from there, and I'll see you folks when we're done with this. a bit of fiddling around manages to find 10,000 litres of stone. Now it's good because the gold production requires well 10,000 litres to get a thousand litres gold so but yeah that has made a difference in the process just speeding it up. Okay sugar beet is done And now we're going to have a pallet of gold very soon. Actually, 
So sell that bit of gold because how much is gold worth at the moment? Have a little look. Ah, it's at its peak now, so maybe ready later on, but it's going to go down and down. So, but yep, at the moment, sell our container. So, um, let's get that pallet. I was thinking, I was just from that big field, three, well, about two and a half plots of land, roughly. And yeah, I actually made a significant difference. Imagine if we had like a windrower tray like this. We could use that for the field over there. Pick up all that straw, but only if. I know on PC and I know like DJ Graham he uses one which is pretty sick. Even it's not like the fast farming version, just something is powered in. Oh yeah, but I don't think there is a windrower trailer. I'm half tempted if I just use that windrower and just bell all that. Because if we use the quick bell. Where's that bar two? All ah, right. Ow. Ah, wait a minute. I can fix that. <coughs> oh, I think we can fast farm with this. Because if we say get tools. Cheeky little toolbox. Whoa, where's that going to? Where's that toolbox? Ah, oh, there it is there. Was it wondering where it went to? But yeah, let's change it to a pin hook attacher. And then just sell that. Now, you can do that. Set grass. Make sure we get ourselves out of this pickle here. So then, in theory, we can. Fast farm with this. Actually, that would speed up a lot of this, actually, thinking about it. I wonder. Um, let's have a little look at if you use market. Not to our interest. But. Back to here. Where is it to? Yes, a pin hook, so we can use that as well. And there we go, fast farming once more. Actually, you know what? That has made a huge difference for us. Actually, will that go over existing grass? Oh no, we're going to call it drill. So, don't be fussed about the edges and that. Just go over the grass. But bear in mind, it does take still quite a bit of horsepower to do. Because we're only going at like 26 miles an hour, but. Yeah, this is going to make a huge difference for us. Oh, that's giving me more ideas. That's giving me several ideas what we can do with this. 
potentially. Aussie, fast farming, does have its drawbacks, especially on these tight fields and that. That's not tight fields, it's just not your perfectly square going up, down, up, down, turn around. Is uh, there is going to be bits where you will miss. So I will make sure we get all that picked up, but again, a lot of that we're going to do like, in the next episode. It's just something I thought to do now, whilst I have that for my head. But actually, since we got that there already, I want to test one more thing. Just one more, and then we'll call it a day, I think. What about this? So, yeah. Is the PTO connected actually? Is it actually connected or is it just floating in the air? Um. No, 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 I think it's connected. Or is that just a trader? So, in theory. PTO ain't connected, but everything else is. Ah. Drawback. If you want to use the wind rower, which makes sense. And that's a free pin, free point linkage. About this, um, I don't think so. Because we go to the forge wagon, work at speed 30 miles an hour. Yeah, 13, 14 miles an hour. It's not picking it up. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it makes sense because of the PTO in that. It was just a fault. But yeah, so anyway, so that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, we will get this all picked up in that. And that's going to be quite a bit of work actually to do. Do all that. Just pick all this up. But yes, yeah, so anyways, I said we'll leave it here today. Next time, overall, I think the goal is just get the grass done, and that's it, pretty much. Oh, we're getting some big piles here. But yeah, we're gonna have a ton of straw. Actually, before we go. I do wonder, do, well, do I still have it enabled? Where is it to? Beaters, beaters, beaters. In theory, do we need to fast farm because it, even this one here can do 24 miles an hour. But yeah, it requires a PTO. Yep, PTO. Again, it makes sense. But at least uh, we can do the mulching and cultivating. That can be done with fast farming. Along with the seeding, so it's not all doom and gloom. We do have options. But yeah, as for the final time, as we're gonna leave it. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to put down below. If you want to share some please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for as you just do, I hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.